Hey guys, welcome to Rosie's Dessert Spot. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to create a two-tier cascading floral cake. I'm using the acrylic discs in this video. It'll be one of the last times that I do. And I'm applying my cake directly onto the acrylic discs that have been lined with some go-between. Um, start building your cake as you normally would on a regular cake board. And then create the crumb coat. I'm starting at the top, pushing the buttercream out to the sides and making sure to coat the whole cake with a thin layer of this buttercream frosting. I've added in a little bit of chocolate ganache to create a chocolate buttercream. Once the crumb coat is done, add the final layer of frosting but just at the top. So I'm starting at the very top with my soft pink, applying my acrylic disc over the top, and then just making sure with a right angle ruler that both discs are perfectly aligned. If they're both not touching, then it means that they're not. So just push it until it's touching. Work your way around the cake and make sure that this is the case for the discs all the way around. Just double checking that. I'll probably get into the freezer for at least 10 minutes. After the 10 minute mark, they're not gonna be going anywhere. They're set on there really well. So I'm applying the rest of my buttercream onto the sides of the cake, well and truly over the perimeter of the acrylic discs. And then we'll just scrape down all the excess until we can see the edges of those discs. Make sure that the buttercream is nice and smooth and then clean up the top and back into the freezer for 10 minutes. Oh, actually for about 20 minutes now, just to make sure that it's set properly. Cut off the tape and remove the acrylic discs and peel back your go-between. And this is like a plastic material that's um, non-stick. Clean up the edges because there always tends to be a couple of um, blushy spots. And as you do, you'll find that you push some buttercream out to the sides. Peel that back up and then just um, clean it up. Take off the bottom acrylic, so make um, turning your cake upside down and following the same steps. And now attach a cake board to the bottom of your cake with a little bit of buttercream. Bring yourself at the bottom of the cake board just to make sure that you can see if it's centered or not. Once it is, press it on and then bring it right side up again. Peel off the um, baking paper and just clean up if there's any buttercream that's lifted. Do the exact same for your five inch cake here. I'm just attaching the five inch cake board and this will be our top tier. I've applied three dowels into my cake in a triangular formation making sure that it's flush with the frosting and then stick your five inch cake on top with a little bit of buttercream. To hide that board I'm piping some of that same colored pink frosting on the very bottom and going over it with the bench scraper to make it level with the side of the cake. For your flowers I've used carnations in white, soft pink and dark pink. I'm feeding through um, green wire which is food safe, not edible but food safe do that to all your flowers and then I've used some cake bling you can buy this from a craft store and while it didn't quite meet up that's going to be hidden by the flowers so I'm not too fussed I added that at the bottom and also the top tier as well feed the wire through the cake and just arrange your flowers however you like you can do it going diagonally I did it starting from the very top of my top tier and just going down straight I added in some gyp flowers into the sides of the cake to hide the um, stems of each flower. So that kind of hides all the mess. And that's how it's done. Unfortunately I can't feature in this video because my um, hard drive kind of crashed and I lost a lot of video footage. Um, but regardless I really do hope you guys enjoyed this video tutorial and it was handy for you. If you did like um, put a comment, let me know what you'd like to see next and don't forget to subscribe for more videos. Thanks again and I'll catch you on Tuesday.